Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. RVs with Gabby at gmail.com Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of RVs with Gabby. Thank you so much for joining me. If you love my videos, please don't forget to hit that like button below and that subscribe button so you never miss another walk around video. Wow, that man's music was really loud. We are here in Orlando RV in Castleberry on 436, which tends to be very loud. Um, but we are looking at the 2022 Integra Odyssey 26D. I'm super excited because in a few short weeks, I will be at the Hershey Show in Pennsylvania in the Integra display. So I just wanted to take the next few weeks up to the show to show you some of the Integra layouts and what you might find at the show. So this is one of their best selling class C's on the market, the Odyssey up front. They've got a one piece fiberglass front cap. That is huge for a class C. It is seamless. It's molded like the hull of a boat over an aluminum cage construction. That gives you the strength and it also gives you the durability of a class C cap that will not leak like its com com competitors. Up front on top, I'm very short so I cannot see it. Can you get a shot of it up there, Caleb? There is an automotive bonded windshield up there. Beautiful, we'll check it out when we get inside. You'll see more of that when we, check, when we walk inside. Um, on the side of the coach, you have side view cameras down low. When you put your blinker on, it's gonna show you what's on the left and the right of the coach. Um, you've got an outside entertainment center with a TV, which is super nice, your Insignia TV. Nice LED light strip up top with this big, beautiful awning. Um, and then you've got quite a bit of storage. So there's some tiny little, there's your propane, not a storage bay. <laughs> But there's another storage bay. You have your speakers down low where you can actually hear them instead of being up high. And then another storage bay here. And the biggest, baddest one is gonna be right on the side of the coach here. So not a pastor storage bay, but still pretty big. You could get your chairs in here. You could get a couple of totes with maybe your black hose and things in there. You could put a grill. It does come with an outside connection for your griddle, a quick connect. So you just gotta bring the grill and you can hook up to your propane. Now Integra is gonna come, like I've said before, with that two plus three warranty. So you get two years of coverage on the interior build and three years on the exterior structure of the unit. That's gonna be one year above most of the competition. Most people give you one year of limited warranty on the interior build, they give you two, which is great. Now, one of the reasons that Integra is the quietest handling, best riding coach on the market is gonna be this easy drive package. Look for this emblem right here on the Integras. Now your easy drive package is gonna be four components on this class C. It's gonna be a computer balanced drive shaft, which is gonna help minimize that vibration of the steering wheel when you're going down the road. You're gonna have upgraded front and rear sway bars, stabilizer bars that are gonna help extremely with that coach moving and swaying as you're turning. You're gonna get um, uh, rubber isolation mounts. Those are gonna be between the chassis and the house. If you come down here at Caleb, let's see if we can show them. Right there, it looks like a hockey puck. So those, again, just absorb some of the noise and vibration from the chassis and, and make sure it doesn't move up to the house. And lastly, the biggest thing is gonna be this inverted leaf spring in the back. It's called a Hellwig helper spring. So you can see it down here, right there on top. It says Hellwig actually on top of it, that one that, that shoots across there. So that's gonna bring the weight back to the center of the chassis. And again, just give you an overall smoother ride and a better handling package huge guys a lot of class c's out there don't come with any of this it's what makes integra number one it does cost a bit more but it's worth the upgrade because most customers come in here and without it they end up going aftermarket to buy these kind of things so big big deal you have the awning topper on top of your slide out that's going to protect it from branches and leaves and things you've got a ladder on this one standard which is nice to get up there on your roof your roof is a one piece molded fiberglass roof. I've talked about that before. It's huge, it's durable. It's gonna, it's gonna reduce the um, points that you could get leaks on the roof. A lot of people will screw their roof right into the top and then you've got all these um, points of leakage. This is gonna be a molded fiberglass cap. It rolls right off the side of the coach. It's, it's massive. It's a really nice upgrade, guys. Your hitch here is rated for 750 pounds and you've got a true 750 tongue weight. 
Keep in mind, some coaches will say 8,000 pound toe, but their tongue rating is only 500 pounds. So it really doesn't give you an 8,000 pound toe. That would only give you 5,000 pounds. Around the back here, you've got another little storage bay. You've got your outside shower that has hot and cold water. Super nice to rinse off if you're going to the beach. Your four-legged or your two-legged campers that come along with you. City water connection and your black tank flush right here. And then your fuel gauge or your fuel fill-up station is behind the driver here on, in the rear. You have a 30 amp supply on this coach. This unit's going to come with 115k AC. Um, and for the Odysseys, there is an option on most models for a power management system, and it'll come with two, uh, I think it's two 13.5s or a 13 and 11 on a power management system. All right, frameless windows here. They're all tinted. Love that. Nice high end look. You can open them all up when it's raining. And then down here, you're going to have a 4,000 watt own-in generator that's going to run off the same gas as your tank so super convenient if you run out of gas it will kill it at a quarter tank so that you're not left stranded on the side of the road somewhere <laughs> this is Dominique <laughs> this is Dominique she's one of my other camera people say hi, hi. <laughs> she's also going to be at the Integra display in Hershey so come on down and visit us both we would love to help you out all right let's head on inside <laughs> okay so starting in the kitchen area you've got solid surface countertops in the kitchen you've got a wireless charging port you just put your phone right on there and it's going to charge your phone which is pretty neat this one does pop up and you've got some um usb and regular uh outlets to plug into as well stainless steel sink double sink i like that no pull faucet but hey that's what you get right it's fine it'll work um Lots of storage. I love, again, this is the modern farmhouse interior. Gas struts on these so that they don't slam back on your head. Norcold gas electric fridge in here. That's going to be standard. It's eight cubic foot and you've got your separate freezer. Now this layout's pretty interesting. You've got a full closet here. Lots of drawers and then a hanging closet. There is your ladder for your bunk up front. And then your bed is walk around on a slide out. Now it is a queen bed. It's kind of tight to slide in here on the other side, but it is better than a corner bed, right? You can actually get up and get out of here without waking up your partner. Okay, bathroom here. Against other brands, porcelain toilet, that is huge. You've got a stainless steel sink in here as well. Nice little medicine cabinet with the mirror, vent fan there, and then stepping into the shower. You've got a pretty good amount of head clearance here with the, um, oh, ouch, skylight. <laughs> there is a little soap dispenser holder here, soap holder, and I do like this nice shower fixture. It's not too bad. It's not plastic and tacky. All right. There is another set of two storage um, doors here with a bunch of shelves. You could probably add more shelves here from, um, what is it? the container store if you wanted to make more sh more storage out of that um, his and hers dinette or north and south dinette as I call it you've got seat belts throughout the coach they are bolted into the frame to make sure they're safety tested so you've got four seat belts here and another two in the theater seats um, this is a legless dream dinette so super easy to sit in here you've got a lot of leg room and it's very easy to drop down guys I'll show you real quick you just lift this and then push down and it naturally is on a gas strut that's going to drop down and then to lift it up same thing push it lift the table up to lock it back in position and you are all set um, now they don't yet have storage underneath here like pull out storage but one of these you can lift up and you've got storage the other one has a little bit of uh, like furnace ducting in there because the furnace is ducted through the cabinets and things so you've got about a bench and a half worth of storage under here this is an option the theater seats i do love them they're super comfortable and your tv if you want to turn around and show them is up there in the bunk in the corner and so that is adjustable you can turn that tv and you're at a pretty good viewing angle here you don't have to worry too much about straining your neck that is really comfortable even though it's a million degrees in here <laughs> um i promise caleb i'll turn the ac on next time before we do this all right up front bunk is rated 
for 750 pounds. Like I said, you have an aluminum cage construction in there, the um, molded fiberglass cap overhead, and then they do this ABS plastic molding around in the Odyssey. So you've got pockets here for books, your iPads, um, phones, different things like that. There's charging, both regular outlet chargers and then USB. I really gotta learn the name of these. These are not 12 volt outlets, right? That's not what they're called. Okay, well, I'll figure that out and I'll come back later on that. But you've got house outlets and you've got USB outlets. Somebody comment down below and tell me what the true terminology for that is because I'm not an electrician by any means. Um, lights in the cab and then what's super nice is this windshield I was talking about. So automotive bonded windshield. Just push that button and it's electric shade. Love that. Gives you that privacy that you want. Oh, you look, look, you even have cup holders up there in the front there for your water and things like that. So yeah, I love this bunk space. They did a great job with it. Super secure, super strong. And then, yeah, when you're done, you lift this out. Now I've got, there's two cushions up here. These cushions are for these chairs because they do swivel around in this coach. Um, certain models have swivel chairs, certain ones don't. But up front in here, you're gonna have your 10 inch um, Sony screen with your radio controls. If you hit the home button, you can scroll through. You've got Sirius XM, you've got your Bluetooth connection, your phone, your rear camera display, which does not work unless the coach is on. Um, but you can always sc scroll through your songs and your music and your maps. You do have Apple CarPlay and Android um, Auto on here for your maps. And then go back to the rear camera to see what's behind you at all times. Um, rear view mirror, I, I don't know, man. You think it was just because they like wanted to keep it there because it feels like a car or <laughs> is it to, to keep an eye on the little ones back there that are misbehaving um up front pretty simple you've got electro electric heated mirrors right um seats are not powered they are manual guys to get the powered seats you got to move up into a class a um only complaint i've had about this dash and this is for ford in general is that this passenger side gets a little tight in your leg space on that so um very important that you get in here to the store or you come on down to the show and you actually sit in your driver's and passenger seat and see if it's comfortable for you i had a couple that really wanted a class c um thought an a was too big but they realized that he could not get comfortable in that passenger seat so they switched over to a class a and it made all the difference um and yeah that is pretty much my uh, coach the 26d this is the 2022 model year they are making a couple of changes for 2023 um, and those will be soon to come and actually everything at the Hershey show will be a 2023 so I cannot wait to see you all there thank you so much again for watching my video and until next time happy camping <laughs>